Today we gonna show top 12 amazing 2024 upcoming bikes first look review and exp Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 12 amazing 2024 upcoming bikes first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. The Piaggio owned Italian brand showed spoke wheels, the bike's name, and a picture of the Stelvio Mountain Pass to subtly tease the motorcycle. Since then, this has become a hot topic for enthusiasts, courtesy of repeated sightings of the Stelvio undergoing tests. Now, it seems the testing phase is finally over and the motorcycle is ready to break the internet. Why? Well, because images of the production spec V100 Stelvio have been leaked on the internet, that too, straight from Moto, Guzzi dealerships. As its name suggests, the Stelvio draws a lot of inspiration from the existing V100 Mandelo. So the new adventure bike flaunts the same Guzzi special design language, complete with a distinct LED headlight and tail lamp. However, there's no shortage of bespoke elements here. The Stelvio boasts a new edgy fender up top, flanked by muscular side panels that merge into the radiator shrouds. The tank looks different too, and interestingly, we can't spot Moto Guzzi's unique adaptive aerodynamic flaps here. Instead, the tank now has beefy indents, possibly to help lock the knees when standing up. At the opposite end, you now get a massive luggage plate in place of the Mandelo's sleek grab rails. This is partnered by a short, new exhaust with a dual-tone finish. Meanwhile, the overall ruggedness has increased, thanks to a tall, transparent windscreen, spoke wheels, and handguards, all missing on the existing ADV. Rounding off the design is a set of new color options. Kawasaki has officially revived the Eliminator segment in its home market Japan by launching the 2023 model. The automaker is also set to introduce the newly designed 400 cubic centimeters cruiser bike to other global markets, including India, later this year. The new Kawasaki Eliminator 400 retains old-school styling and will be available in two trims standard and SE. The base variant is available in two Ubercool paints metallic flat spark black and pearl robotic white. The premium or the SE variant is listed with only one color choice, metallic matte carbon gray with flat ebony. The Eliminator model, which is a competitor of the Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650, comes with a round LED headlight, a bulky fuel tank, chopped fenders, a single pod instrument cluster, a side slung exhaust, a partially naked frame and alloy wheels. It also features a split seat setup with a low seat height of just 735 mm, which makes it one of the most attractive cruiser models. The motorcycle is adjustable with a maximum height of 765 mm and a minimum height of 715 mm. In addition to these, the Eliminator SE variant includes a headlight cowl, front fork gaiters, and a two-tone seat. It also has a GPS-compatible drive recorder system and USB Type-C power socket, both of which are water-resistant. Looking at the suspension setup, the Kawasaki Eliminator is equipped with telescopic front forks and dual rear shocks while its braking system consists of a single front and rear disc with ABS. The front wheel rides on an 18-inch alloy, while the rear one is mounted on a 16-inch alloy. The new Kawasaki Eliminator is powered by a 398 cubic centimeters parallel twin liquid-cooled engine, similar to the Ninja 400. 
This motor is calibrated to produce a maximum power of 46.9 brake horsepower at 10,000 RPM and a maximum torque of 37 Newton meters at 8,000 RPM. It is connected to a six-speed gearbox. This motorcycle has a 25.7 kmpl fuel economy that has been validated by the World Motorcycle Test Cycle. Facing increased competition in the middleweight adventure bike segment, BMW has decided to update its mid-sized adventure lineup with three new models. The F800GS, the F900GS, and the F900GS Adventure. Arriving in early 2024, the new bikes offer improvements over the current F750GS and F850GS models, with more powerful engines, new electronic tech as standard, new bodywork. And for the F900GS models, a slew of improvements over the previous 850. All three new models share an updated version of BMW's parallel twin engine previously found in the 750GS and 850GS models, which has seen its capacity increase from 853 cubic centimeters up to 895 cubic centimeters. This sees the F900GS and F900GS Adventure turn out 105 brake horsepower at 8, 500 RPM and 93 Newton meters at 6, 750 RPM, which is an increase of 10 brake horsepower over the current F850GS. Meanwhile, the new F800GS has 87 brake horsepower to work with at 6, 750 RPM and 91 Newton meters at the same revs, which is also an increase of 10 brake horsepower over the F750GS. The 800 model can also be restricted to 48 brake horsepower for A2 license holders. BMW has put a lot of work into the new F900GS, with a long list of changes from the old 850. One of the biggest changes is the reduction of weight, with a 14 kilograms lost, bringing the weight down to 219 kilograms. Honda has decided to drop the veil on its latest CBF Concept motorcycle. The CBF Concept was supposed to make its debut at the Osaka Motorcycle Show and Tokyo Motor Show in this month, but due to COVID-19 outbreak, Honda has been forced to reveal the Concept motorcycle on an online platform. The CBF Concept is a throwback special that pays homage to the Honda CB900F naked motorcycle from the early 1980s. As a result, the design is retro, the bike features a classic round headlamp, a flattish fuel tank, and a simple tail section. The matte silver paint scheme with blue and gray stripes look rather cool. The megaphone designed exhaust is another retro touch. While the design of the bike is a few decades old, everything else is modern, the CBF concept features the same modern mechanicals as the company's leader-class Neosports Cafe bike, the CB1000R. The chassis looks similar and the concept features the same upside-down front forks and a single-sided swing arm along with a monoshock at the rear wheel. Powering the CBF concept is the same 998 cubic centimeters inline four-cylinder engine as the CB1000R. In the CB1000R, 
the engine develops 143 brake horsepower and 104 newton meters of torque and it's paired to a six-speed transmission at the moment honda hasn't confirmed if they plan to put the cbf concept into production Moto Guzzi has once again wowed the motorcycling community with the debut of its latest offering, the Moto Guzzi V7 Stone Corsa. The V7 Stone Corsa was revealed at the brand's recent open house gathering. The Retro Cafe Racer Special Edition strikes a fine balance between classic charm and contemporary tweaks. The bike's aesthetic is an exciting departure from its sibling, the V7 Stone most notably with its new two-tone silver and red paint that stretches seamlessly from its headlight cowl to its tail. The splash of red beginning just below the iconic Moto Guzzi emblem on the tank and extending through the side panels is especially eye-catching. For enthusiasts who appreciate the little details, the V7 Stone Corsa doesn't disappoint. The handlebars come equipped with sleek bar and mirrors, and a special plaque adorns the top clamp, marking the bike's unique addition status. Keen observers might also notice the absence of fork gaiters, providing the machine with a sportier, refined edge. Additionally, the bike's filler cap has been upgraded to a billet item and boasts a striking anodized black finish. The tail end of this machine also comes with its own surprises. The passenger seat, for instance, is cloaked with a removable cowl, exuding a nostalgic racer vibe. And for those who love continuity and design, the new headlight cowl and fly screen resonate with the bike's two-tone theme. Even if it's not the most practical addition, it undoubtedly makes a visual statement. Color options? Well, the V7 Stone Corsa keeps it simple and elegant with a single metallic gray and bright red scheme. Under its beautiful facade, the bike retains the reliable 744 cubic centimeters V-twin engine from the stock V7 Stone. Riders can expect a smooth 51 horsepower and 55 newton meters of torque promising a ride that's as comfortable as the bike is captivating. With the launch of the V7 Stone Corsa, Moto Guzzi continues to bridge the gap between time-honored traditions and modern-day flair. This is one bike that looks to the past for inspiration but rides straight into the future. Think of underrated motorcycle manufacturers and Moto Guzzi will cross your mind. It's the oldest European bike maker, but stays away from paparazzi thanks to subtle announcements and reveals. The latest such revelation comes straight from the company's home turf, where the Italian company has revealed the V7 Stone Corsa. The 2024 Suzuki G6S 1000 GT intelligently combines the championship performance of its G6R 1000 based engine with a nimble, lightweight chassis to provide riders with an exciting and comfortable GT riding experience. Here is a grand tour with sport bike level functionality, avant garde styling, and an extensive selection of optional equipment like truly functional, integrated side cases. Ready to go the distance. The Suzuki GSX S1000 GT has revitalized sport touring. It is as if the GT itself understands what performance-minded touring enthusiasts desire. Whether heading out on a long trip with a passenger on board or enjoying a sporty solo romp up a twisty ribbon of asphalt, the GSX S1000 GT's performance is a revelation its appearance breathtaking. And the Suzuki MySpin connectivity application integrated into the full-color TFT instrument panel provides easy access to contacts, maps, music, and phone communication. Using long stroke, GSXR engine architecture, 
the 999 cubic centimeters four-stroke liquid-cooled DOHC inline four engine delivers smooth, consistent power throughout its wide power band. This enhances the riding experience, both at the low to mid-range engine speeds commonly used in daily riding, and through the mid to high range used when traveling long distances on the highway. Refined and controlled performance is managed by Suzuki Intelligent Ride System technology, including electronic cruise control, traction control and clutchless quick shifting. So passing slower traffic is an opportunity, never a challenge. The twin spar aluminum frame and superbike brace swing arm help deliver agile handling and great road holding ability that will go the distance. Facing increased competition in the middleweight adventure bike segment, BMW has decided to update its mid-sized adventure lineup with three new models. The F800GS, the F900GS, and the F900GS Adventure. Arriving in early 2024, the new bikes offer improvements over the current F750GS and F850GS models, with more powerful engines, new electronic tech as standard, new bodywork. And for the F900GS models, a slew of improvements over the previous 850. All three new models share an updated version of BMW's parallel twin engine previously found in the 750GS and 850GS models, which has seen its capacity increase from 853 cubic centimeters up to 895 cubic centimeters. This sees the F900GS and F900GS Adventure turn out 105 brake horsepower at 8, 500 RPM and 93 Newton meters at 6, 750 RPM, which is an increase of 10 brake horsepower over the current F850GS. Meanwhile, the new F800GS has 87 brake horsepower to work with at 6, 750 RPM and 91 Newton meters at the same revs, which is also an increase of 10 brake horsepower over the F750GS. The 800 model can also be restricted to 48 brake horsepower for A2 license holders. BMW has put a lot of work into the new F900GS with a long list of changes from the old 850. One of the biggest changes is the reduction of weight, with a 14 kilograms lost, bringing the weight down to 219 kilograms. Twenty twenty four Yamaha Tracer nine GT plus. Yamaha Motor USA officially unveils the 2024 Tracer 9 GT Plus for the American market. It's the newest halo bike in Yamaha's sports touring lineup, boasting features including adaptive cruise control, radar linked unified brake system, a semi active KYD suspension, a six axis inertial measurement unit, AMU, that works with its integrated ride modes, and more. After its big reveal overseas in 2022, we knew it was just a matter of time that Yamaha's technologically enhanced Tracer 9 GT Plus would make its way to our shores, or at least we hoped. Well, it's almost a year later and, sure enough, the bike that has been previously available in Europe is now up for grabs in the US, Yamaha has pulled the covers off the new 2024 Tracer 9 GT Plus, crowned as its new sport touring flagship. That title is due in large part to the raft of updates bestowed on the new model, including an array of rider aids and tech advances like adaptive cruise control and a radar-linked brake system, along with semi-active suspension, integrated riding modes, and new smartphone connectivity. From a consumer standpoint, it makes the Tracer 9 GT Plus the least expensive motorcycle yet to get radar-assisted cruise control and safety systems. Let's talk about the engine first. 
The 2024 Tracer 9 GT Plus is powered by Yamaha's liquid-cooled, dual overhead cam, 890 cubic centimeters, cross-plane crankshaft triple, CP3, engine. Bore and stroke are 78.0 millimeters by 62.1 millimeters. It has a six-speed gearbox, an assist and slipper clutch, The esteemed tradition of crafting remarkable special edition motorcycles in Varese, Italy, continues with the introduction of the 2024 MV Augusta Brudale 1000 RR Assen. This exceptional motorcycle is an integral part of the Tabac Classic GP hosted at the iconic TT Circuit Assen, a celebration proudly supported by MV Augusta. Building upon the success of last year's Brudale 1000 RR, which underwent rigorous testing in Italy, the 2024 Assen edition boasts a series of enhancements and refinements. While the inline-4 engine remains unaltered, the quickshifter has received both mechanical and software updates, enhancing its performance capabilities. An exclusive special parts kit is provided, exclusively intended for track use, which includes aero-titanium mufflers paired with a high-performance ECU that elevates the peak output to an impressive 212 horsepower at 13,600 RPM. Additional distinctive components include a carbon fiber cover for the pillion perch, meticulously CNC-machined brake and clutch levers, and an exquisite aluminum fuel cap. For road legal enthusiasts, the motorcycle is adorned with carbon fiber rotobox wheels, a luxurious blue Alcantara seat, a meticulously polished two-tone fuel tank, an array of eye-catching silver accents, an abundance of carbon fiber embellishments, and custom model-specific special edition graphics. MV Augusta continues its streak of limited editions paying homage to history, brands, racers, and now, a track. The price of 2024 Honda Rebel 1100 will be $9,999 in USA expectedly, all specs, features and price on this page are unofficial, official price, and specs will be update on official announcement. 2024 Honda Rebel 1100 will be launched in 2023. It will be available in attractive iridium gray metallic and green metallic colors. A much anticipated addition to Honda's Rebel series is the Rebel 1100, which is scheduled to be on sale in 2024. The Rebel 1100 is a cruiser motorbike that blends cutting-edge style with a strong engine, cutting-edge technology, and comfortable ergonomics. This summary will shed light on a number of features of the new Honda Rebel 1100. Engine The Honda Rebel 1100's potent engine is its standout feature. A 1,084cc parallel twin engine, with enough power and torque for both city commuting and long-distance touring, is anticipated to be included. The Honda Africa twin engine, renowned for its dependable performance, is most likely the source of the engine's inspiration. Riders can anticipate an interesting riding experience, a snappy throttle, and excellent acceleration. Design and Style the Honda Rebel 1100 has a sophisticated design that combines traditional cruiser looks with a dash of modern flair. It conveys the feeling of casual riding thanks to its low-slung silhouette, broad handlebars, and relaxing seating posture. The Rebel 1100 is an eye-catching motorcycle with quality finishes, LED lighting, and sleek lines that is sure to draw attention. Comfort and Ergonomics the Honda Rebel 1100 is expected to offer a roomy, relaxing riding position because it was designed with the comfort of the user in mind. Long rides will be more comfortable thanks to the ergonomic layout, and the seat and suspension will be supportive enough. Honda might also provide accessory choices for customization, enabling riders to modify the bike to their tastes. Technology and Features Riders can anticipate cutting-edge safety features like advanced braking systems, traction control, and possibly even cornering ABS for improved stability. 
Hondek is expected to outfit the Rebel 1100 with a range of cutting-edge technology and features, including a full-color TFT instrument panel, integrated navigation, multiple writing modes, and connectivity options. Twenty twenty four Kawasaki ZH two. You better hang on tight. The twenty twenty four Kawasaki ZH two is outrageously quick, deceptively smooth, and sounds like an angry velociraptor. A BMW Type two fifty five Compressor won the Isle of Man TT in nineteen thirty six, proving that supercharged motorcycles were as reliable and faster than their normally aspirated competitors. Had the killjoys at FIM not decreed a ban on forced induction from road racing after World War II, super and turbocharged motorcycles might have become the norm rather than the exception. At the time, winning races assured a manufacturer's success at the dealerships, and the new regulations deterred further research and development on the subject. For decades would pass before turbochargers would grasp the forced induction baton, initiating a new race. With the introduction of the first semi-production turbocharged motorcycle in 1978, Kawasaki Z1RTC led a resurgence of interest in forced induction engines. Other manufacturers soon followed suit, spawning a series of new turbocharged machines. But chronic turbo lag required clairvoyant throttle control to manage their erratic power delivery, and bulky, impractical intercoolers ensured the turbocharged motorcycle era was short-lived. Another 40 years would pass before Kawasaki finally solved the forced induction riddle, releasing its first supercharged Ninja H2 in 2015. With the H2 lineup's continued success, it appears that this time, the blowers are here to stay. Kawasaki cracked the forced air induction conundrum with its brilliantly simple, planetary drive centrifugal supercharger, developed in conjunction with its heavy industries aerospace division. Compressing air in a force system causes it to heat up, which reduces its oxygen content and combustibility, requiring an intercooler to reduce the air temperature before it reaches the engine. The secret to Kawasaki's innovative design is its exceptional thermal efficiency. The H2 supercharger attains very high impeller speeds without requiring an intercooler, adding notable boost with minimal weight and complexity while bestowing a unique personality on the H2 lineup. The 2024 Yamaha Tenere 700 has a few thoughtful, useful updates for the new year. These include a new 5-inch color TFT display with two different display options, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity, LED turn signals front and rear, and three ABS modes. The bike will be available in Team Yamaha Blue in September 2023 or Shadow Gray in October 2023. MSRP starts at $10,799. Other 2024 returning Yamaha models include the Super Tenera ES, XT250, and TW200. These bikes see no changes in the specification for the new year. New interface, the T7 now features a 5-inch color TFT display on the front, accompanied by a scrolling dial on the right handlebar to control it. Riders can choose between two display options, modern or retro analog style design. Additionally, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity via the Y-Connect app allows riders to receive text and phone call notifications on the dashboard and record ride data for later analysis. LED turn signals, the 2024 Tenere 700 now comes with LED turn signals both in the front and rear, enhancing visibility and adding a modern touch to the bike. Pre-wiring for Yamaha Quickshifter, the T7 comes pre-wired from the factory to fit the Yamaha Quickshifter, which is an optional accessory available at an additional cost. The Quickshifter allows for smoother and quicker gear shifts without the need for clutch usage. Expanded ABS modes, Yamaha has improved the ABS mode offerings for the 2024 T7. 
Instead of only having on or off options, riders can now choose from three different modes, mode 1 for full ABS activation on both front and rear wheels, mode 2 with ABS activated only for the front wheel, and mode 3 with ABS turned off completely. Regarding other returning Yamaha models for 2024, there are no significant updates or changes in specifications for the 2024 Yamaha Super Tenere ES, 2024 XT250, and 2024 TW200. They will continue to be available at Yamaha dealerships without any notable revisions. As for the pricing and availability, the 2024 Yamaha Tenere 700 will be offered in two colors, Team Yamaha Blue in September 2023 and Shadow Grey in October 2023. The starting MSRP for the T7 is $10,799. The pricing for the 2024 Yamaha Super Tenere ES is yet to be determined, but for reference, the 2023 Super Ten starts at $16,299. The 2024 XT250 starts at $5,399, and the 2024 TW200 starts at $4,999. However, keep in mind that pricing and availability may vary by region. The 2024 Tenere 700 has a liquid-cooled 689 cubic centimeters inline twin derived from the MT-07 naked sport bike that features Yamaha's crossplane crankshaft concept 270-degree crank. After 3,000 miles of mixed riding for a tour test of a 2021 Tenere 700, our reviewer had the following to say. In my local mountains or out in the desert, on pavement or off, the T7 has been an excellent partner for exploration, corner carving and flat out moving down the road. The Tenere 700 has a fully adjustable 43mm inverted fork with 8.3 inches of travel and a rear single shock with remote adjustable preload, rebound damping and 7.9 inches of travel.